Welcome back. If you've been following along, you've learned about basic web architecture and you went out searching for a domain name. I hope your search was successful and you didn't get too frustrated trying to find that ideal.com you were looking for, but I hope you have something. If you've decided not to get a domain name yet, that's all right. Um, after this next lecture, we'll look at, at options to follow along the course without a domain name or a hosting account. But on the assumption that you did get a domain name, that's great, you have a domain name, um, but that's all that it is at this point. You need a hosting account. The hosting account is a server or space on a server where you would install WordPress and all your data and everything would reside. And then you will point your domain name to that server, just like we covered in the web architecture course. Your domain name is gonna to point to your server. Now, in terms of getting a hosting account, there must be millions of hosting companies everything from fly-by-night outfits to fairly established outfits from very expensive um, you can talk you know for corporate you know hosting with full redundancy you can be in the thousands of dollars a month to extremely cheap you can get all the way down to free hosting most of the time ad supported the good news is for you um, hosting is going to be very cheap for what you need right now um, one of the companies that i like for at least a beginner to start out with is a company called HostGator. And you can see that here in my URL bar. HostGator um, has a very great entry level hosting option. Now, whenever you go to a host company, you're gonna see options like web hosting, reseller hosting, VPS hosting, dedicated servers, and some will also talk about cloud servers. Uh, you don't really need to worry about it. Now, dedicated servers is only for when your website is really really big you're getting a ton of traffic you're gonna to have to get a dedicated server uh, or a vps server definitely not needed right now and reseller is only if you want to really be your own hosting business or, or resell websites for people now if you're taking this course because you're interested in building websites for a living you might be interested at some point becoming a reseller and then you can sell to your customers both an actual website with the hosting included, and you can make a markup on that hosting. Right now for this course, let's just assume you're building a website for yourself. Um, so we look at standard web hosting. And if you look here on the homepage of HostGator, um, at least right now at the time of recording this course, you can see here they've got web hosting um, with, they claim unlimited disk space, unlimited bandwidth, etc. Now. The only thing that's really important right now is that you get a host with a control panel that's actually called cPanel. Um, and it's very important because cPanel is going to allow you to easily manage your environment as a non-technical user. It's going to allow you to easily install WordPress, which is important. Um, and if it's running on cPanel, you can also easily transfer your site from one host to another. So if you get tired with the hosting company you're with, you can easily find another cPanel hosting company and transfer your site. So the requirement for this course and my strong recommendation is that you find a host with cPanel. Um, so HostGator is certainly a good option to start off with. Um, let's look at another one, for example, Turnkey Internet, and we look at their standard web hosting. Um, again, you don't need dedicated or cloud or anything like that. We're just looking at standard web hosting and look at the uh, Linux hosting. They too are using cPanel control panel. So whatever hosting company you look at, I recommend you find one with cPanel because in this course I'm going to go into cPanel and show you how to use it to install WordPress, set up your email and things of that nature. So you want to be able to follow along and cPanel is by far the most popular control panel for all these companies. So turnkeyinternet.net, they're charging starting at $3.16 a month. Um, going back to HostGator uh, over here, they are 396 a month. So you can see it's all similar in the ballpark and there's a 20% off right now. Um, so pretty cheap um, to get going. And again, both HostGator, Turnkey Internet, and any of the others you search for, make sure they are running cPanel. And you will see why in, in the next lecture, but it's very important and makes your life a lot easier. So what's gonna happen is you're going to, you know, let's select view hosting plans. We'll take this hatchling plan um, order now. 
Oops, let me just go back one second. You can see it, it talks about that they use cPanel, and that's what we're looking for. So by all means, choose any hosting company. Just make sure it has cPanel. So we'll choose order now. Um, and now you can either register a new domain, or you can say I already own the domain. You know, I don't like registering my domain with the actual hosting company. I like to keep it separate so I can go host anywhere and just point my domain. So in the previous lecture, you might have registered a domain name at GoDaddy or Namecheap. So you can say, I already own this domain. And then this would be, you know, all kitchen appliances repair.com if that was our domain name um, it's going to look it up um, give me some other options as well but i will take that one choose my plan let's do six months or you can start with one month if you just want to try it you can choose a username and pin and then your billing information so this is going to create an account with you at hostgator it's going to allocate space on a HostGator server for you. Um, and at the end of this lecture, then you should have a domain name registered with GoDaddy or Namecheap and a hosting account registered perhaps with HostGator. And then we'll show you how to connect those two together. So go ahead and buy your domain name. Um, and we will um, actually, before I go, I just want to also let you know to be careful that you don't get sold any add-ons. So for example, yeah, um, I'm being sold something called SiteLock. I don't want that. And I'm being sold something called CodeGuard, which is another $20 a year. I don't want that. Um, and just make sure that your price does come down. So just like with GoDaddy, HostGator is going to kind of upsell you a little bit on a, on a few few items. Um, not bad items. CodeGuard is for backups, etc. But uh, right now, let's not take any of that as you get familiar with website building. So read and then we'll create the account and you'll now have a hosting account with HostGator. So go ahead and get that done. And then I will see you on the next lecture where we can look at how do you match your domain name to your hosting account.